Hey everyone, today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to call this a Better Computer EP. So this is just a short little video. It's going to be a little less edited, a little less scripted than some of the other things I do. But I wanted to kind of show you just a piece of software so you get an idea of how it works. And the piece of software I'm showing off today is Ghost, which I use to run my blog. So birchtree.me is my blog. Uh, it actually just had its 10th anniversary, so I've been writing it for quite a while. Um, but yeah, it's basically just it's a blog, so <laughs> you kind of know the deal. But I don't use WordPress or Squarespace or one of the kind of like absolute mainstream options. I use Ghost, which is pretty mainstream as well, but uh, not everyone has used. So I wanted to kind of take you through the admin panel for how it works and kind of some of the things I have set up with it. So to get to it, you just go to uh, your domain slash ghost and I'm already signed in, so it just takes me there. And so I just see my website with this little sidebar. And so the first thing you can do is go into your post history. So these are all the posts I've written before. Uh, you can just kind of see them all and you can filter by what sort of posts, authors, tags, uh, newest or whatever. Um, and then it'll put drafts and everything, scheduled ones up here at the top. And so one of the cool things you can do here is you can actually search. So it's just a list. Um, it's actually not as powerful as I kind of wish it was, but if you want to search for something, you hit command K and that brings up this search. Uh, so it's control K on Windows, just so you know. Um, but let's do, uh, this one's gonna have a ton of results, but I'm just gonna search Apple. And so here's a whole bunch of posts that I have here. Um, and let me just like click into one. And so that takes me to the edit page for a post. And so this one isn't super, Exciting, it's really just text, uh, but you can go over here and hit the gear to add an image, a featured image. You can change the URL, uh, when the publish date was, any tags, excerpts, um, all this stuff is right over here. And so I didn't really use any of it there, but you can upload uh, from your computer or you can click this button to find unsplash images. And of course you can uh, search for Apple stuff here and then add that. Uh, insert the image, and now that's at the top of your post. I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want to make a change to this post, but that's how that works. And when you're in here, uh, you can just uh, make a new line. And so I can just type here, but I can also hit this plus to add an image, a markdown block, HTML block, gallery of images. Um, all this stuff works, and then there's some embeds that you can do. Uh, one of the nice things is that if you have like a YouTube link, you can paste it in here and it'll automatically expand it. You won't have to like select YouTube, click this, paste it in. Now, if it's just a YouTube link, it'll know what to do. So that's how the post editing works. Um, and if you go to pages, you can have different pages set up. So I actually don't use these on my site really, but you can set these up um, however you want. Uh, I've got like a goodies one here with a whole bunch of, uh, this is a little messy again, because I don't really use it, but it's very similar to the blog post section. Um, and you can edit it from there. You can make updates, change things um, just the same. You've got tags, this is not really interesting, but you can see all the tags you've ever used on posts and how many posts have them. Uh, so like this Amazon post or Amazon tag, I should say, was used on two posts. Uh, I can click that to see those, so that's kind of cool. And if I actually don't want to use this one anymore, like maybe I'm trying to trim down what I have, I can go into here, I can change the name of it, I can change the slug that shows up, which is really cool. I can change the color of the tag, like there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. I just want to delete it. So delete the tag, cool. And now those two posts are just untagged now. They don't have the Amazon tag. Staff is just your users, so you can invite multiple people. Uh, basically, I just have my own owner account and you can do some little stuff here. And then we get into the settings. Uh, you can change the name of your site and the uh, the tagline for it. So this is whatever uh, you want it to be. Uh, you can have your theme dynamically. Most themes that you're using will dynamically pull these into them. So you'll get them automatically on every page. Uh, you can set your time zone. That's just your time zone uh, and your language. You can also set a publication icon. And so this is gonna be your favicon. You can just upload an image here. You can set a publication logo. And so this will be kind of a bigger one. A lot of themes use this uh, to display in your header and then a publication cover. So in your header for a lot of themes, they'll have like a background image you can put. And so this is where you put that. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff here for metadata. Uh, do you want to have a different title or description? Uh, and they kind of show you how that'll show in search results, which is nice. You can change your Twitter card. So I make sure that I have this kind of default image for uh, when I post things to Twitter. 
and another one for Facebook, uh, social accounts, you can link things. Um, so I've got my Twitter uh, handle right here. I don't have a Facebook one, so I don't put something there. And then you can make the site private, which basically just makes you enter a password. I'm not gonna do that for sure. <laughs> um, then design is where you actually set your theme. So there's this navigation section here. And so themes, most themes I should say, will use the links that are here to show kind of a menu of options of places to send you. And so you can enter things to either internal links or external, doesn't really matter. And then what the text shows for them. Uh, mine doesn't do that, I hard code mine. But again, if you download a theme and just use that, almost all of them will use this. They've got access to a theme directory, so there's lots of themes for Ghost. Uh, some of them are free, most of them are paid in my experience, um, but there's some really good ones out there. You can probably find one that works for you. You can go to the theme marketplace or build your own. And then down here is where you set yours. Uh, you can see I've got uh, Alita, or Attila, I should say, <laughs> Casper, the default one, and then Birch Tree, which is my custom one. I can change it at any point by activating it um, or whatever. So, and if you want to ed edit it, you can download it to your desktop and then edit the files for your theme. Theming is a rabbit hole, so I'm not going to go into that, but um, yeah, this is where your themes are handled. Then we got code injection. Uh, this is exactly what you would think. Uh, basically in your site header and footer, you can put some random code that you wanna put here. I just have my Google Analytics here and then a link to the typography.com, uh, that's Hoffler & Co. Uh, fonts that I use on my website. So anything you wanna show in your header, you can do this. Uh, this will most likely be analytics stuff for most people, um, but it could be anything at all. And then the footer, same deal. Integrations is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of integrations that have been built out that connect to Ghost. Uh, so for example, Zapier is one that I use to make sure that uh, you can kind of see it here. Uh, whenever I, oops, probably don't want to share that. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to share my key, but basically whenever I post, I have it set to Zapier. So Zapier will actually post the link to Twitter for me, which is great. You can do the same for Slack, um, Unsplash and all these. So that was actually why I saw that option for Unsplash in the feed featured image section because I have this turned on. But there's a whole bunch of other ones and so you can explore them here or you can build your own custom one if you're a developer. And the final section we're gonna take a look at today is the labs features. So there's some cool stuff here. There's actually this icon here that'll set it into dark mode for you. So then your whole admin UI is in dark mode, which is pretty cool. I actually like it in light mode, that's just me. Uh, but you can enable members. So there's actually quite a bit here you can look at. Uh, it basically lets you set up a way for you to set up email subscriptions and uh, private posts that are only available to members. So if you enable that, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, so you need to connect it to a Stripe account, you need to set some pricing, and so there's a, a bunch of stuff that you can do here. But if you want to have some exclusive content that people need to pay for, you can do that with members. You can import content. So the import tool is not great. Uh, frankly, it only imports ghost files. So you can't like export from WordPress and then import that file, that XML file that WordPress gives you. You actually have to use a tool that'll convert it, that WordPress file to a ghost file. It's kind of a pain. Uh, I'll try to link to one in the uh, show notes that I've used previously that works pretty well, but um, yeah, it's really meant to import from another ghost installation. And you can export uh, into a single JSON file. Uh, again, if you want to use this somewhere, most places you're going to have to install an extension. Um, for example, if you want to import that file into WordPress, or there are tools that, uh, command line tools, I should say, that convert it the other direction. And you can, of course, delete all content. I'm not even gonna hover over that for any longer than I have to <laughs> because I don't want to accidentally delete everything. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some other beta features here. That night shift is actually, uh, I don't know why the toggle's here and here, but it is. Uh, and then you can do some stuff with redirects and routes, which I honestly don't know that much about, so I'm not gonna do anything. But yeah, uh, down here, you can see a little bit of other stuff. Uh, what's new, you can see release notes for what's happened recently. This is basically a link to their blog that you can uh, check out here. I think this will open their blog in a new uh, tab. Yep, so that's all the stuff that they've uh, done recently. So that's kind of interesting to see. But yeah, that is a quick preview of Ghost. Uh, for me, it's the right thing uh, to use. Uh, it may not be for you. I think the WordPress is still the best option for most people, uh, but for someone who wants a really light interface, something where I can really customize everything exactly how I want, Ghost works really great for me. So thank you so much for watching this quick video, or not so quick video, but uh, this first uh, A Better Computer EP, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up, you know all the things. So thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.